Hi, uh, welcome to the programmer channel. Today we are going to uh, look on uh, on for loops in the C sharp. So uh, without wasting much time, let's get started. Uh, a for loop is just a loop which will uh, keep on repeating or which will keep on running until a certain condition is fulfilled. So we are going to use this console application right now but uh, later in this video i'm going to show you how you can apply uh, it in windows form applications since uh, the development of c sharp uh, programs uh, were much done on uh, windows form applications uh, where one can develop uh, some systems so you can uh, find the importance of applying this for loop so without uh, wasting uh, much of the time let me uh, jump into uh, the loop right away so to declare a for loop use this for uh, this is uh, what we call uh, the keyword for to declare a loop then you declare a variable inside this bracket so you to declare a variable you start by the data type so this is the data type of the variable which you want to use uh, let me use for for int num is then assign the value is assigned to uh, let's say one and num is uh, less than uh, or equal to 10 like this then you say num plus plus like this so uh, we are done by declaring this for loop then in this uh, curly brace we are going to put the code which we want to execute whenever this condition uh, right here is uh, is the true right so less than or equal not plus less than or equal to 10 excuse me right like this whenever this condition is true we want to keep on repeating uh, the codes which will be in these uh, curly braces so uh, you have uh, this variable initialization mm -hmm. we have a condition and we have the variable increment right so let's go ahead and put some code right here uh, so what do you want to do i uh, want to uh, print this num on screen so we're going to use the console class console.red line right line like this and you can put uh, that num right here and after putting that now we can end at the statement with the same column and since we are in console uh, window or in console application what you need to do is to post the screen uh, before exiting right if you leave it like this and execute it is going to show for some few seconds so you have to use this uh, command console.read key excuse me dot read key like this right so that's the that's it in c sharp right let's go ahead and uh, change this to console dot read key like this right so that's it right here we are done we have paused the screen so if you go ahead and execute this you are going to see this num uh, uh, being printed from 1 to 10 right so this is the simplest way uh, to put a for loop all right and now you can see we have these uh, values 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this was uh, extracted from the for loop and the for loop printed these uh, values on the screen All right so that's it uh, on for loop so you may want to uh, go ahead and experiment for some magics so you can uh, say simply say you, let's say you want to put a nested for loop uh, it's also uh, very possible you can put another loop inside another loop so uh, right now i'm going to teach you uh, 
how you can print uh, how you can uh, break from this loop if a certain condition is met let's say you want to break from this uh, loop whenever uh, this num is equal to 5 so you can put a condition inside here and uh, write something like this if num is equal to 5 then what do you want to do you want to break from the loop so you can simply say break right like this so this break statement will force the exit from the loop right so let's go ahead and execute this code right you can see we are not going to print up to 10 but we are going to print up to 5 like this why because we have set a condition that if the uh, if num which is being incremented by 1 is equal to 5 then we want to exit from the loop so this is how you can use the break statement right from uh, for loops right so let's go ahead and uh, put a nested loop uh, so that we want to draw some magic on the console application let's say we want to draw a triangle of stars right so let's go ahead and uh, try that let's remove this code so let's go ahead and try one to print a, a, a triangle so we are going to declare another uh, another loop right here inside another loop and I'm going to say it's num1 for int num1 is assigned to 1 num1 right num1 is less than uh, num you can uh, put this num as the upper limit for num which means we are going to print uh, a certain uh, value until uh, the condition is equal to this num which means if uh, the condition is the, if num is one we're going to print it once if num is two we're going to print it twice all right it's less than num let's say less than or equal to num and then we say uh, num one plus plus like this so by doing this let's open a loop again right by doing this what are we going to do uh, we are going to print let's say console dot right line dot right line let's say let's use the right class console dot right what we want to write is this star right and put a space right there and let's change this to a capital letter error right you can see uh, it's done so after writing this what do you want to do uh, right here want to uh, break or uh, want you to, to to go to the next line so use the console dot right line right why do we use this because we want to uh, go to the next line was right this the right class is going to write on the same line which means the next time it is going to write on the same line and once uh, if this condition is uh, becomes false then we want to uh, jump from that line to the next line so this is simply the code which we need to put in place All right so what do we have to do right now is to execute this code but before executing let's uh, remove this uh, 10 and put a uh, limit like 6 uh, because 10 is just too much so let's go ahead and ex execute it uh, so that you can uh, have a look on uh, how it is going to be executed you can see we have done uh, some magic we have drawn a triangle right here right that's it so you might have uh, come across something like this so this is the simplest way uh, to do it this is the code to uh, draw some stars on the screen right here so let's say you are asked to print uh, something like uh, the number let's say you want to print this one this num so i'm going to simply say num right here in this console right class and then concatenate uh, the space right here so that 
the court will not be uh, missed out, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and run it again. So you can see by printing, we have printed uh, the the num, right? So num when num was one, it was printed once. When num was two, it was printed twice. When num was three, it was printed three times, uh, four times, five times, up until uh, six times, uh, which are the upper limit of our uh, code right here. So you might need also to print num one. You can simply change this num to num one right here and run it again. All right. So you have seen. Uh, what is the difference when you print a num one you can see we have one and one two one two three one two was it will keep repeating uh, num right whenever a num uh, is was this is going to be reset to zero this second loop is going to be reset uh, to one I mean so whenever it will print it will start from one and it will go up until the the limit of num or the value of num which will be incremented by one so when the value of num becomes two it will uh, be limited to two right here and if the value becomes three it will be limited to three like right here so this is uh, all what you have to know or to understand uh, about this for loop so uh, right now let's go ahead and uh, show or demonstrate how to apply the for loop in windows uh, form application right so let's go and choose this uh, this is the windows uh, form application you can go ahead and design a form like this uh, and after designing a form like this uh, you can go ahead and uh, double click on the button uh, this is simple to design the form like this is very simple so go ahead and double click this button and after double clicking this button uh, what you do you need to do is you have to uh, write some code so I have written something uh, in here let me enlarge a size a little bit so that you can see right so this is the form uh, which we have right here so to apply the for loop you simply have to do exactly as you know, what was uh, on the console application for int num is assigned to is assigned to uh, one and say num is less than uh, or equal to 10 then you say num plus plus like this so what you have to do after doing something like this so what you have to do right here after doing something like this you have to uh, then assign the value to the list box so you are going to say list box one right like this dot items dot add right you can add what do you want to add you want to add now right here so the difference between uh, the console window and uh, this windows form is just uh, in the console window we're using console dot red line and in this windows form we are using an object like a list box and you can also even use a text box you can use whatever control which will be applicable uh, to use with this for loop so i have just chose uh, this uh, this uh, what we call a list box so and i'm adding items to the list box so th that's the difference this is the statement which will uh, differ only but uh, and the console dot read key will not be applicable in this windows form so that's the difference so if you go ahead and execute this code you are going to see uh, what we were uh, seeing in the console window right so that's it uh, you can click this start loop since our code is this button so you can see we have one up to ten why because uh, that's the condition which we have set uh, on that loop so if you want uh, to break again you can simply go ahead and instead of uh, just executing like this you can give a condition if a num is uh, equal to 6 then what do you want to do you want to break so that's it so if you go ahead and execute it again it will break when 
ever it reaches six right and it will exit the loop so this is uh, the simplest way uh, of applying it and windows form application so you can see we have typed uh, we, or we printed from one up to six so this is all you have to do uh, and in the next video i would think that i'm going to show you how you can apply this for loop in an array or how to apply also for each loop that's it so this is all you have to, to do uh, to write a for loop in c sharp uh, windows form application and a console application so that's it uh, if you are new uh, to my channel please don't forget to subscribe to Zen Programmer channel for more videos. Have a nice time.